Hey everybody, I wanted to make this very short video just to show you another way of getting ideas for products to sell. So what you could do here is you could kind of do this the other way around. So instead of going to Amazon first to look for a product that you could potentially sell, you get a bunch of ideas. So maybe 20, 30, 40 ideas on a notepad, a text file or a spreadsheet, whatever. And then you go over to Amazon and you go through the criteria that we've covered in these uh, previous lectures here to find out whether these products would be a viable option or not. Now, one good way to do that is to go over to aliexpress.com and you want to be on the home page. So you want to be just on aliexpress.com, not on any category pages. And if you scroll down on the home page, you're going to see that they have sections and the first section, well, at the moment, it's displayed like this while I'm making this video. They changed the page around, but you have sections, for example, tech discovery, where you can click through and this is going to give you some ideas of products that you may not even have thought about. So we have things like top picks. Now, some of these wouldn't be of any use, but this is just so you can get an idea. Now, what I suggest you do, let's just go back. What I suggest you do here is you make a list of around 40 or 50 products. Don't do the restricted categories, like for example, clothing's restricted category, unless you want to apply for approval. But it's easier just to stay away from restricted categories. But you've got your uh, categories like computers and electronics. Now, jewelry and watches is a restricted category and it's impossible to get into for a new seller. So you should uh, ignore that if you are a new seller. But you've got home and garden. So, and all of these have lots of other uh, subcategories as well. So you can start to click around and get some ideas and really get your, your brain working. You're going to see lots of things that, as I said already, you may not have thought about. One of the problems that we have, and I may have said this uh, before, or I may say it again somewhere in the, in the course, is that we kind of have this mental block so that we only think about the products that we use, that our friends use, that our family use, and things that we ourselves are familiar with, where in fact there are tens of thousands of products out there that we just don't even know exist or we don't think about because it's not something that we come into contact with and um, very often if at all. All right, so this is just a suggestion to help you get more ideas. You can make a big list and then go over to Amazon and run through them and then perhaps narrow it down to the products that are going to be viable for you to sell on Amazon.